So in this video, we will discuss how to create contacts from MS Excel in Google Contacts. Now suppose you are adding some new people or new contact details into your Excel sheet and you want to add those contacts into your Google Contacts. So in this video, I will tell you how you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be addition of new row or addition of new data in MS Excel and the action will be creation of contacts in Google Contacts. Now how you can set up this simple automation by yourself to know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to our browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign in to my own Pavli Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here, we have to just click on Access Now below Pavli Connect. And as we click on Access Now, we will reach to this Pavli Connect dashboard. In this dashboard, we just have to click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Microsoft Excel to Google Contacts. Microsoft Excel to Google Contacts. And then let's just click on Create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in, and in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of the people whose detail contact details we are adding in our Excel sheet from Microsoft Excel and Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, then we will send that new contact details to Google Contacts so that we can also create automatically create contact in Google Contact as well. So first we'll get the data of, from Microsoft Excel of the person and then we, using Pavli Connect, we will send that data to Google Contact to create a contact over there. Now to do so here in trigger window in choose app, we have to search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new row in worksheet. Now, as we select our trigger event, it is giving us an option to connect. Just click on connect and select add new connection. So here we have to connect our Microsoft Excel account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Microsoft Excel. And guys, because I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking me for the authorization permission. Let's click on yes, and after clicking on yes, we will see that our Microsoft Excel account will automatically get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for a workbook. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the workbooks which we have created in my Microsoft Excel account can be seen over here. And out of all of these workbook, from which workbook we want to get the new data from. So I have created a workbook for contact named as new contact. So we will select this workbook over here. We will select it and then it is asking us for the worksheet. So in this workbook, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So in uh, worksheet from the drop down, we will select sheet one. And after selecting our workbook and worksheet, when we will click on events and test request, the details, the contact details of the first person. So the contact details of the first row will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So the first row of heading and after heading, whatever contact details we will be adding over here, that same details will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's do this. We'll come back to Pavli Connect workflow and click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we will see that the contact details of the first person over in the our Excel sheet is captured. So we have the same first name, dummy name, as we have entered over here. Same first name, same last name, same email address, as well as the same mobile number. So the details of the person, details of the contact details from Microsoft Excel in Public Connect is now successfully captured. We have connected both the application and received the contact details from Excel and Public Connect. Now after that, using Public Connect, let's move to step two, where we have to create a new contact with these details in Google Contact. Now to do so, we will just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Google Contacts. Google Contacts it is. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we have to select create contact. Click on connect. 
and select add new connection. After this guys, we have to connect our Google contacts account with Power BI Connect. And to do so, just click on connect with Google contacts, select your Google contacts account. And after that, scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we can see that our Google contacts account is now automatically connected with Pavli Connect as well. After making this connection, it is asking us some details of the person to whom we want to add as a contact, like first name, middle name, last name, name prefix, and other details. So we have received some basic details like first name, last name, email, and mobile number from Microsoft Excel. So these details we have entered in Microsoft Excel, and we have received the data from Excel in Pavli Connect. Now we have to basically this same response, the same details which we have received from Public Connect, we have to map the same details over here in this Google Contacts step. And the process of mapping guys is very simple. Simply click on this field of first name and from the drop down we can see all the responses which we have received from Excel can be seen over here. And out of all these responses, select the response of first name and map it. Then it is asking us for the middle name. So the first name is now successfully mapped. Then it is asking us for the middle name. And we haven't entered the middle name in our Excel sheet. That's why we haven't received a response. So we are going to ignore this and we let's come to last name. So we will follow the same process of mapping over here as well. Just click on this field and from the drop down from the response to Microsoft Excel, just scroll and this is the response of the last name. So select it and map the response. After that, it is asking us name prefix, suffix, gender. So these details are not mandatory and also we haven't entered these details. So the gender can be male or female anything or any other gender as well. So we will just turn the mapping button in front of this gender option on and we will just clear it. So we won't be entering any gender over here because we haven't entered gender in our Excel sheet. If you have contact details like prefix, suffix, gender, email work, email home and other details in the spreadsheet, you will also get the response of that details in Pavli Connect and you can map that data as well. Then it asks us for the email work. So we have entered the email address in our Google Excel spreadsheet. So we have to map the same data over here in this email work. So we'll just click here and from Microsoft Excel responses, we'll select the response of email address and map it. Then we will ignore the other fields like email home, company name, job titles, and we will scroll down and we will come to phone number, the mobile number. So we have also entered the mobile number in our Microsoft Excel sheet. And then after that, we have received that response in Public Connect. So let's map that data as well, following the same process of mapping. Let's map it. And after that, we'll just ignore all of this not so required fields for now. And we will scroll down and we have to click on save and send test request. Now we, as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. Means this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a new contact with these details which we have mapped over here. Basically the details of the person which we have entered in our Microsoft Excel sheet is now added as a new contact. This same person is added as a new contact in Google Contacts. So let's check it. We'll go to Google Contacts. We'll refresh this contacts page once. And yes guys, dummy name, the same person whose details we have ad added in our Microsoft Excel sheet is now added as a new contact in our Google Contacts account, which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we will enter the details of a new person in our Microsoft Excel sheet with the same details, a new contact will be created in our Google Contact account using this automation. And also guys, one more thing. Here in the trigger window of Microsoft Excel, you can notice it is written every 8 hours. This means this trigger will check for new data in every 8 hours. So every 8 hours, Public Connect will go and check whether a new data is added in our Microsoft Excel sheet or not. If there is added any new data in that period of 8 hours, it will get that new data and add that data or process the data using this automation and the new contact in Google Contacts will be added. So let's understand in brief guys that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation because the creation of this automation is not completely done. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect and here in this workflow we have selected Microsoft Excel as a trigger application and new row in worksheet was our trigger event. Now after that we have connected our Microsoft Excel account with Pavli Connect and then we have selected our worksheet and workbook. And then we have received the response of the, the response of the first row from our Microsoft Excel sheet in Public Connect. Then after getting that data using Public Connect, we have sent that data from Microsoft Excel sheet which we have received to Google Contacts so that we can create a new contact over there as well automatically. 
So not just these application guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also guys, Public Connect comes with a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get 100 free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. Which means if you consume 100 tasks of this month as well, you will again once again get 100 free tasks again next month. So using this, you can automate or you can test your automation workflows for your business and personal works as well. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connects pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.